Okay, Bilo joins us now with more in our forecast, and of course the hurricane watching you say a Category 5 now it's again. Back, back to up. A Category 5, and it's making landfall right now over the northern coast of Cuba. It's taken a little bit more of a westerly track mm -hmm. than we had anticipated, which means it could even move over the Cuban mainland in a few spots, leading to some destruction there with winds sustained at 160 miles an hour and gusts up over 180 or 190 right now. That storm will eventually, tonight or tomorrow, start to make that turn to the north, and that is crucial. When it turns is key to pinning down its track for Florida. Let's take a look first and foremost, though, at our forecast. We'll get through it quickly because there's not a whole lot going on. Quick look down in Hobbit Beach, Delaware. It's a quiet night. A lot of people out on the boardwalk tonight enjoying the cool, calm weather and not much to show you there on Storm Scan 3 either. We had a few showers pop up here and there this evening. Those have since moved on out and I don't think we'll see anything tomorrow. Just a reinforcement of the cool air. You can see a nice northwest breeze has picked up. Temperatures Definitely on the cool side for the time of year. It's 53 in Reading, 56 in Allentown, a cool 63 in the city. And keep in mind, we hit our morning lows usually just before sunrise, so these temps will drop even further. It's going to be a chilly morning. Look at Mount Pocono, 47 degrees. What to expect for your weekend? Beautiful weather here in Philly. Sunny both days, feeling like fall, feeling more like early October perhaps than uh, early September. A pleasant breeze out there and great weather to get outside. There's a big Temple Villanova football game. Great weather for that if you're heading up to Happy Valley, my alma mater, Penn State taking on Pitt. It'll be a nice day there with temps in the 60s. Here in Philadelphia, tonight's low dropping down to the mid 50s, a fall like chill in the air. It's a crisp night for us. Tomorrow, just a beautiful day. If you like today, you'll love tomorrow. Lots of sunshine, cool breeze from the north, and the high about 72 degrees. So let's head back to the tropics because we've got a lot going on, of course, as we know in the tropics. Three hurricanes right now, two are currently making landfall. That's Katia, which is weakening as it makes landfall along the coast of Mexico. That is happening right now. Hurricane Irma making landfall as a Category 5 hurricane over Cuba. It, of course, went through the Lesser Antilles as a Category 5, now a Category 5 again making landfall in Cuba. And we have Hurricane Jose, a Category 4, which is threatening those same islands like Barbuda, Antigua, the Virgin Islands, Anguilla, with another potential hurricane strike. Possibly not a direct strike. We'll take a closer look at that in a moment. Let's focus on Irma's impacts here as we head through the weekend in Florida. Key West, you'll start to see those winds. Now, these are sustained winds. These are not even gusts. Sustained winds at about 48 miles an hour by as early as 1 o'clock tomorrow, near 40 miles an hour in Miami. By 9 o'clock tomorrow night, winds sustained in Key West around 100 miles per hour. And notice the duration of these winds over 100 miles an hour. The eye passing just over Key West here by early Sunday morning with winds sustained at 131 miles per hour. It continues to move up the coast. There's the eye of the storm. Marco Island here Sunday morning at 110 miles an hour. Miami gusting well over 100 miles per hour, and it just keeps on coming. Even Melbourne, Florida could see those winds over 100 miles an hour by later in the day Sunday. And then we shift to the rainfall. In addition to the threat for storm surge flooding, which will be the greatest throughout the Everglades near Marco Island, where some spots could see storm surge as high as 15 feet above sea level, we could see rainfall, especially on the eastern coast of Florida and into Georgia, over 20 inches in spots. Quick look at Jose, Category 4. It will at least brush islands like Barbuda and Anguilla and St. Martin, which were decimated by Irma. That's going to lurk out in the open ocean for a while. It'll stall. It will weaken, but we've seen storms come back to life, so we will not take our eye off Jose. But of course, Irma, the big story this weekend. No real impacts for us this weekend, certainly from Irma. If we do see some leftover rainfall, it'll be Tuesday into Wednesday. The further west it goes, the lesser the impacts will be for us. Mm -hmm. Just